is Sivan Hassan of the Netherlands, the world championship bronze medalist last year at 5,000 metres. Bronze medalist, in fact, the year before that, two years before that, at 1,500 metres, 10 metres, 12 metres the lead. Watch the clock. This is going to be mighty fast from Sifan Hassan. The world record, remember, is 4.12. It's going to be very tight come the line. No world record, but a desperately quick time from Hassan. Second, I think, was uh, coming through was uh, Segai. Third, O'Berry, fourth Simpson, and it wasn't to be for Laura Muir. Yet again, it's back to the drawing board for the Britain. She couldn't find the key to her best form on this occasion. Probably one of the greatest miles in depth in many a year, but Sifan Hassan, as you say, Chris, quite rightly, the third fastest in history there. That is a big, big win. Leads at the moment with 8.53 from round three. A series is building nicely. 8.51 round two, 8.53 round two, and that's bigger again, surely. I'll tell you what, I don't think he's pushing for the world lead, but he's getting out there. 8.68 is the longest jump in the world this year, and he's really warming to the task of the South African, isn't he? So charismatic. And uh, that, 8.58, he finds another couple of inches, and it's a meeting record. What has he got left in the last 100 metres here? Also going well is Allen in the orange. Karani James looking to tie up a little bit, but coming through Haroon very nicely indeed. There he goes, the Qatari from lane four, and he gets it in 44.07. A wonderful run, timed his run to perfection, and Haroon, who's been doing the business on the flats all year long on the Diamond League circuit, upsets Karani James' return to action, gets past Samba the hurdler, and it's Abdelala Haroon in 44.07, it's a national record. But Carsten Barholm, well, well clear here. The shackles are off, perhaps the pressure's off as well, because Samba, who's dominated this event all year, six wins out of six, and Barholm taking full advantage here. Let's keep an eye on the clock. Barholm has won it once again, 47.65. A wonderful performance from Barholm on the very same track where he took the world title just under 12 months ago. And that is a wonderful lifetime best. It's been coming all season. And you think that he's come out of the shadows there. <laughs> he liked it. Barholm has grabbed the opportunity with both hands. And you're right, Chris, and that was absolutely supreme. And uh, he's downed a very, very strong field there by big margins. Would equal her season's best. Oh, yes. Yes. And was that just a flicker? Just a little raise of the hand, but again, nothing at all facially from Lasitskene. <laughs> what a competition we've got here. And that's a season's best equaling jump from Maria Lasitskene. And we said right at the beginning, Tim, I wondered whether there might be a reaction to that defeat in Rabat. And we've certainly got it here today. 204. She does not like losing. It's all about the push and the turnover at the start, and it's a wonderful start. Oh, absolutely flying here, the two British athletes. Keep your eyes on the clock. 16.79 seconds. We're looking for confirmation here because Carrier Denigan's best this year was 17.37 seconds. The world best is 17.18 seconds to Hannah Cockcroft from London here last year. So it's been clinging onto the coattails as Korea changes gear again, kicks hard of the ground of the bend, comes round into the straight as Korea, and he's beginning to get away now. Kinyamal, gritted teeth, can't go with him. Neither can Amos, Murphy can't either. And look at this from Korea. They 